Hey guys, this morning I'm excited to share a self-contained 3D printed power source for my QCX Mini. It's powered by three 18650 batteries, recharged and powers the unit through a DC barrel jack on the back there. It's capable of CW transmit, powering the GPS unit, which means you got Whisper on the go. The QCX Mini sits nicely, firmly on the um, 3D printed stand and as I mentioned earlier, power is transmitted through the DC barrel jacks from the stand to the unit. It works all day long. I was able to listen all day long and have a nice long QSO with W6 Juliet Lima. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm a novice CW operator, but I, I still try. I like to get out there um, with the help of the Long Island CW club on getting the hang of it. But this operator uh, was pretty stern and he wanted a uh, uh, formal port of protocol, which I eventually did give him. And we had a long queue, so 15 or 20 minutes and uh, felt like I had uh, done a serious workout and ran a mile after we finished. But I enjoyed it and hope to uh, communicate with him again. I want to remind everyone, I didn't create any of this. I just simply searched around on the web and found the 3D print on Thingiverse. And uh, I'm a big fan of QRP Labs. In this case, one of the added benefits of the QCX Mini is that with GPS discipline, you can send whisper transmissions. In this case, I plug in the DC barrel jacks. You can see the power is indicated by the red light and the yellow blinking light indicates that the GPS is looking for satellites. Power to the GPS unit comes in uh, on the tip of the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack on the right side and the GPS information is transmitted via the tip of a similar jack on the left side. Once the green light starts blinking, that means that the uh, GPS has acquired uh, the PPS signal from the satellite and it's sending it to the QCX Mini. QCX Mini now has the proper time, which means that the whisper transmissions will be accurate. And also for your QSOs, you have an accurate clock. In this case, I'm using um, the Power Best. 18650 11.1 watt hour battery. I picked them up from Amazon. And the board charge controller that I was able to get was the Ambest 3S 18650 charger. Prudent way that I've come up with charging this system is so that I don't throw this charge controller PCB into a state of overcharge or overcurrent is uh, I just used my uh, favorite battery, the BioAnal battery 
It's currently running at about 13.31. And I take the DC barrel jack and just plug it into the side. If we take a look at here, we can see that the charge controller is working. It's currently pulling 3.84 and it's going down. Um, and it's fluctuating, which is showing that um, it's probably taking into account the different states of charge for the different batteries. After about 20 minutes, uh, the AMBAS controller has slowed down from anywhere from 1.5 to 1.8. So after about 45 minutes, uh, call it an hour at the most for those skeptics, um, it slowed down to 0 0.2. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and it's rotating. It seems that one cell isn't quite equal, but um, you can see that the charging doesn't take very long at all. So we can test the unit by hooking up a um, multimeter. And we can see that it's producing 12.23 volts, more than enough for the QCX Mini. What I end up with is an extremely portable um, HF rig. Um, fits into a pocket backpack. Um, you can take it anywhere. Uh, just a few items, accessories, small uh, CW paddle, uh, portable speakers. It uses any speakers. And I like to use the K6 ARK NFED uh, antenna with the matching unit on the BNC adapter. I want to thank you guys for uh, spending this time uh, taking a look at my project. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, producing this video for you, learned a lot of things, and um, I enjoyed sharing um, these uh, products, these projects with you. If you like it, like the video, and of course comment. Um, there's no end to learning, and I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. For right now, 73, have a good one, and I'll see you out there.